What's up everybody, TaxBruction7 here, back with the Minecraft mod tutorial. Today's mod tutorial will be on the Optifine mod, and what this mod does is allows you to completely customize the look and the way Minecraft renders things out, which will also help reduce lag by far. So if you have a lot of lag in Minecraft, this mod will definitely help reduce that lag. So when you're in your main world, Minecraft will be normal as usual. But when you open up your game menu and go to options, then video settings, you'll see you have far more video settings now. You can change your fog to fa from fast to fancy to off. Um, if you go into details, you can have your clouds at default, fast, or fancy. And um, you can change the cloud height. So you can see I have a cloud over here in this area. And if I go like this, you can see the clouds are raising and lowering. Your trees you can either have a default, fast, or fancy. So you can customize what you want to have fast or fancy graphics. And then um, same with the water, sky, the depth, uh, the rain and snow, um, and all that good stuff. So if we go to animations, you can turn the different animations off. So the water is animated. So if I go ahead and turn it off, uh -oh, or, or to dynamic, or you can just turn it off but I like to have water animation so I'll leave that on so turning off some of the animations will definitely help reduce lag as well then we have the texture packs option so this you can change your texture packs while in game so I'm gonna change it to the LB photorealism this might take a while to switch over though hopefully it doesn't take too long there you go you can see it switched over then you just hit done and when you're switching the texture packs it does take a little while to load all this out especially since the texture pack I switched to was a uh, 256 by 256 high definition one so then you can change all the render distance all the normal stuff is still here or you can uh, turn the clouds off all that sort of stuff uh, you can change the distance from where the fog starts then if you go to quality, you can change, uh, you can turn better grass on. Custom fonts, you can turn them on and off. Swamp colors, um, the connection textures, and then we have better snow and custom colors. The smooth biomes, what that does is with the 1.1 update, they made it to where when you would transition from biome to biome, it would be a smooth transition. You wouldn't be able to see where the blocks just cut off. And then if we go into uh, performance, you can turn smooth um, FPS off or on. Um, you can have it to where it loads further uh, distances, and you can change the chunk updates, as well as the preloaded chunks, so that'll make it a little bit smoother when you change that stuff around. Then we have the other, and uh, you can have weather, you can turn it on or off, and you can have the time set to day only um, or night only, but I like to keep it to where it goes through day and night. And you can have full screen. If you click on full screen, it'll make it full screen. Um, so you won't have these little borders. And then you can change the time the auto save starts. So that is pretty much it for what I could show you. So now you can see I do have the better grass on. So it's completely changed. And as well as the um, better snow, you can see in the distance where the snow's on the side of the blocks now as well. So it looks a lot better to me. Uh, maybe not with this texture pack, but um, yeah, so that's what it does. So that is the Optifine mod. So I now need to clear out my Minecraft jar. After I do that, I'll be back and I'll show you how to install this mod. Okay, so what you're going to need to install this mod is some sort of archiving program such as WinRAR, 7 or WinZip. All these programs work the same way, so you can use whatever you prefer. I'll be using WinRAR in this tutorial. Then the only thing you're going to need to download is the Optifine mod itself. So to get the Optifine mod, I'll go ahead and give you the link to this page in the description. And there are a few different versions of Optifine. There are the standard, smooth, multi-core, AA, light. So those are the different versions. And now to choose the version you want, if you go ahead and click the uh, show button under additions you can see all the different um, versions and what they all include 
to work what would work best for your computer. So I use the standard version. The standard version would probably be best for most people. So if you go and click on the download one link, it'll take us over to an ad fly and it'll say, please wait five seconds up in the top right hand corner. After that five seconds is up, a yellow button saying skip ad will appear. Go ahead and click on skip ad. And this will take us over to another page. And if, as soon as you click on this opti, download OptiFine 1.2.3 HDB.zip, it will automatically download the mod. So that is how to download OptiFine. So when you're ready to install it, go ahead and come over to start, then type in percent app data percent, just like this down here in the bottom left hand corner. Then go ahead and open up your roaming, then open your dot Minecraft, open your bin, left click your Minecraft jar, then right click it, do open with and select whatever archiving program you're using. I'm using WinRAR, so I'm gonna go ahead and open it with WinRAR. Now your bin, you're not gonna need open anymore, so you can go ahead and just close that. So once you have your Minecraft jar open, go ahead and open up Mod Loader. Mod Loader, I'm sorry. Open up OptiFine and highlight all these class files and drag it into your Minecraft jar and hit OK. Go ahead and close OptiFine. Now in your Minecraft jar, you should see a folder called MetaInf. If you do not see this folder, it's OK. You can go ahead and just skip this step. But if you do see it, what you want to do is delete it. So go ahead and left click it, then right click it. Select Delete Files, then hit Yes. And that will delete MetaInf. You want to make sure you're always deleting MetaInf when you're installing a mod to Minecraft. If you don't, it'll make Minecraft crash. So after you delete MetaInf, you can go ahead and cl close your Minecraft jar, and that's it. You're done installing the mod. So hope this video helps you guys out. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.